Hello everyone. Today we are going to perform the experiment number two of salt analysis. The aim of experiment is same as that of the previous experiment, which is to identify one acidic and one basic radical in the given salt. The salt will be given to you. It is an unknown salt, and you have to figure out which acidic radical and which basic radical that is your anion and cation is present in this salt. The apparatus used are say glass rod, spatula, dropper, beaker, sprit lamp, and the other important things which are needed for the practical. As we all know, the salt is comprised of two parts. One is your acidic part, and second is your basic part. Acidic radical means anion. Acidic radical means anion. Now, as I have already mentioned, that there are so many anions. So to perform or to figure out which acidic radical is present in the salt, it is divided into three parts. Reaction with dilute H2SO4. The ions which you will be able to identify by the help of dilute H2SO4 are carbonate, sulfide, sulfide and nitride. Now the ions which you will be able to carry out with concentrate H2SO4, they are chloride, bromide, iodide, nitrate, acetate and oxalate. If you are still not able to figure out which ion is present in a given soil, then there is a third type which is your particular test. This is only for sulfate and phosphate. Now, we will be starting our practical. The reaction number one is reaction with dilute H2SO4. So, salt plus dilute H2SO4. Salt plus dilute H2SO4. Now, by the help of spatula, take a part of salt in a dry test tube, in a dry test tube, this is your dilute H2SO4, take dilute H2SO4, now heat it gently. Heat it gently. As you can see, there is some gas which is coming out, but still it doesn't smell anything like familiar. So, the way dying test to so forward, you are not able to get any particular observation. So you can just leave this. Okay. Now the second step is with concentrated H2SO4. So it will be salt plus concentrate H2SO4. Salt plus concentrate H2SO4. Before going into salt plus concentrate H2SO4, if you want to write the observation, you can write colorless gas evolved. And with no smell, that means it is also odorless. So, yeah, so nothing is confirmed with the help of dilute H2SO4. Now we are moving to the second step. Again, take a part of salt in a dry test tube, transfer the salt into the dry test tube, use test tube holder to hold the test tube. Now Add concentrate H2SO4. Add concentrate H2SO4 to the salt. You have to use H2SO4 very carefully. And then you will heat your test tube in a very gentle manner.
Now you can see that in a test tube, you can see so many vapors are there. If you will smell the gas which is coming out and like I have already mentioned in the first video, don't take it very close to your nose, okay? Just smell it in this way. You will see it is something pungent order. A pungent order gas is coming out from the test tube on reacting with concentrate S2SO4. It's a pungent and the solution has turned to your yellowish shade, yellow brownish shade you can say. Okay, so there are experiments now. At what conclusion you will reach? If it is a brown color, as you, can, you have already seen, it's an orange and a brown shade. What you will observe? You will observe that a colorless gas, a colorless gas with a pungent order, a colorless gas with pungent order. It can be because of the liberation of bromine gas or because of the nitrate. So it can be you can write Br minus or NO3 minus. Maybe because you have not confirmed it till yet. These tests are preliminary. These tests are preliminary. So maybe. Now we will carry out the confirmatory test. We will carry out the confirmatory test. For bromine, for bromide particle, what you can do? As there are two possibilities, bromide and nitrate. For bromide ion, what you can do? You can take salt again. You can take salt again. You, then for, like in a similar way in an iodide, what we have used? Manganese dioxide, MnO2. Add a part of MnO2. Add a part of MnO2. Just mix them. And then add concentrate H2SO4. Add concentrate H2SO4 to this. Okay. So you have mixed concentrated stress of 4 into this now and then heat it gently. Now as you can see that there is some dense brown color fumes which are evolving from the test tube. Like if you can see. Yes. Now you can see there are some dense brown fumes which are coming out from the test tube. This dense brown fumes confirms that your ion is bromide. This is your for bromide test. Okay, so what you have done? You have taken salt, you have added a pinch of MnO2, you have added concentrated SO4, brown color gas again it's a very pungent order gas the brown gas with a pungent order okay then br minus confirm okay so what you have identified that the given salt contains Br minus as an acidic radical. Okay, thank you.